Hi, I'm Jason, physiotherapy resident here at Strength & You, your fitness and therapy experts. Today's topic is going to be proper landing mechanics to avoid your risk of injury. Many injuries that happen during jumping actually happen during the landing phase. This is because more forces are acting on the muscles and joints due to the acceleration of gravity. So if you were to jump and land and be pushed in the midair, landing unbalanced or awkwardly, you're more likely to hurt your ankle, knee, hip, or further up the chain. We want to practice landing in controlled settings, such as in therapy, training, sports practice, before it being introduced to the demands of sport, where you may land in these susceptible positions. So now I'm going to show you a few exercises you can do to practice landing. The first exercise is a step down to a two foot landing. So the position you want to land in is very similar to a squat position. It almost fully replicates it. You can also use an athletic ready stance to describe it. The hips need to be a little bit slightly back before loading the knees, so the hips or glutes can absorb more of those landing forces. You want to distribute the weight evenly on your feet, except it might be a little bit more closer to the balls of the feet. So you're going to be stepping off the stair or an elevated surface, landing onto two feet in the exact same position I just mentioned. So as a progression, and to make it more difficult, you want to land on one leg but using the same mechanics where the hips are more back, you're landing in a single leg squat position. To take this further and progress the exercise, you want to perform a lateral jump onto one leg or two legs because you want to stop your weight from going past your feet. You want to be able to do three sets of five. We're focusing on quality over quantity and you want to be able to stick the landing. So you want to be in control when you perform the exercise. If you're looking to get into plyometrics or jump training, you're going to need a good base of strength before doing so and also applying these proper mechanics of landing. So in summary, we practice landing to help you reduce your risk of injury, to also build proper habits when landing, and also to improve body control and awareness. I'm Jason, physiotherapy resident here at Strength in You, and now you're only one strategy away from crushing your fitness and therapy goals.